this is a video on setting up your course weightings for using the Gradebook assessment tool. The first thing that you'll do is click on Gradebook and then Gradebook Overview. You'll want to select the class that you're setting up the grade uh, weightings for. In this case, I'm going to use this section. And then you're going to select on under assessments, course subject weighting. And here you're going to notice all of your specific overall expectations for the course. Over here on the side, you can see a percentage and this percentage needs to add to 100. This is going to be your crack used in your calculations of your different assignments, uh, quizzes, anything that you're using for evaluations, not including your final examinations. That will be in a different video. So you can go ahead and adjust these, making sure that they add to 100. You can also click on the names of the overall expectations. And if you wanted to use student friendly language or shorten the titles, you can go ahead and do that there. Simply just delete what you want and add in your, your specific language. I'm going to go ahead and leave it just because that's what uh, is um, on the ministry documents. You can also delete and add in custom categories if you want. So let's say, for example, um, this category won't be needed in your evaluations. You can click on the X and you can see that it's eliminated, but you will need to add in either another one um, or beef up these weightings so they equal 100. If you did want to add in a custom category, click Add Category, give it a short name. I'm going to call this one observations and click on save. You can see it's added right there and you can add in the percentages there. There are many benefits of using the overall expectations, including making it um, easier for you when you're doing your uh, assessments, knowing on which portions of the course you need to uh, continue to evaluate. So that is how you add in uh, your categories. When you're done, you can also make these um, go to specific weightings when you're clicking on a mark if you'd rather change it to 1 to 10, but I'm going to keep it at 1 to 5, and then click on Save. And that's how you adjust your category weightings for a gradebook.